So a bit of a strange start, I managed to pick up almost everything that was black. Comfortable, classy, sexy, tight and sort of figure hugging, but also I feel like really comfortable. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm feeling a little bit stressed. Um, we have just moved out of our old house and I currently have no filming space. Um, so we're kind of in the process at the moment, a little life update for you all. Um, we're in the process at the moment of moving houses. We're currently living at James's parents' house. Hi James. Oh. Hi. Um, uh, until the new house is ready. So we've broken the chain, we're waiting for our new house. So I thought we would go into town, we would have a little bit of girl time, just me and you guys, and we would do... Me, Boo, you, today that's, you're not involved. <laughs> <laughs> Not me and you, Boo. That's every other day. Oh. <laughs> um, but today, yeah, I thought we would do uh, a kind of shopping... I don't really know how to explain this, but I've kind of wanted to be in looking for some clothes that sort of suit my new shape you know it's not like a new shape like i've just have changed shape over the past few years as you guys know i talk about it a lot i've gone up um a few sizes and my body's just changed in shape as bodies naturally do so i'm and also as you guys know i'm pretty repetitive with my fashion so i was just looking in my wardrobe and i was like literally the only freaking thing as you guys know that i freaking buy for this freaking time of year is knitted jumpers and that's literally it I'm very repetitive with my fashion sense um, and I feel like I'm quite I don't know stuck in my ways and certain ways that I used to dress I don't necessarily feel as comfortable in now that I'm more curvy I don't know I just feel like I want to accentuate my curves and try different styles and just I don't know. So I'm going to have a little look around town with that in mind today. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. And I'm also going to get my nails done because the nails have grown out quite a bit now, my little pumpkin nails. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with my nails either. But I just thought I'd take you guys with me. We're going to have a girly day, nails, retail therapy, and just have some fun. gonna go with everything because they're just like the perfect pinky nudie color um so now we'll do a little bit of retail therapy shopping <laughs> and people are waving and shouting at me because i'm vlogging it's so scary on my own but i have you guys so it's fine breathe i'm good i'm good okay so i'm gonna start in one of my favorite shops top shop you guys know i'm obsessed so we gotta check out some top shop goodies first oh my god i love little champion pieces and these like tight joggers i feel like i'm just love oh my gosh i'm so obsessed with this again i do not need a knitted jumper but my mind is just oh my gosh that is so soft okay so a bit of a strange start i managed to pick up almost everything that was black and then one white thing i will run through everything and we'll do like a proper little try on haul as we always do when i get home okay so next we're gonna go into zara another one of my faves i've now ended up with the opposite vibe in zara of just all nudes beiges creams what do i like it's just all or nothing isn't it all black all nudes all beige Okay guys, so it is now a few days later. Um, I'm currently at an Airbnb with my friend. We're creating some really cool content for this channel, which will be coming soon. If not, may already be up before this video. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But we have a little bit of extra time, so I thought I would go through the things that I bought when we went shopping the other day. Haven't actually tried any of this stuff on, um, because I just thought it would be fun to try on with you guys. Towards the end of the shopping trip, it kind of got, I was in like a massive rush, so I can't remember what shops that I showed you that I went into, but I think I've got a range of stuff from like Topshop, Zara, Stradivarius, H&M, anywhere else? Actually what I'll do is I'll kind of put outfits together from each, so I like, I won't do one shop at a time, I think we'll just put outfits together because that'll work better to show, show the clothes off, so these are all my black clothes from Topshop, but I'm going to put an outfit together, I will be like that. Okay, so the first outfit we have, I feel like, am I far, far back enough here? Yeah, I think so. First outfit we have is like an all black sort of underlayer with a little cord jacket, you know? 
So, my vibes for this was, I love like tight fitting joggers that basically look like leggings, especially for like autumn winter because you've got the sort of shape on and tightness of leggings but just with a little bit of a thicker material. Ooh ooh, look at me, champion. Um, and they are so freaking comfortable. I'd love them to be a little bit tighter on the ankle, a bit long as well, so I rolled them up a bit. But I guess that gives it the kind of job of vibe compared to leggings, which are like tight all the way down. I've also paired it with a bodysuit, which I absolutely love. This lighting is driving me insane. Um, and bodysuits are like, like a no-no in my head. Like I just, when I think of a bodysuit, I just think about being really uncomfortable and being like, and basically, if I'd have gone, this is like quite a staple basic for me. And then I usually pair it with like an oversized sweater or a knitted jumper. So I feel like I feel really good and really comfortable in this because this is really tight and sort of figure hugging. But also, I feel like really comfortable because I've just got a little extra layer on top, which still shows the, you know, more fitted style underneath, but then also just gives me a little bit of my oversized vibe, which you guys know I absolutely love. So that was kind of the vibe for my first outfit, like a kind of fitted, comfy, soft vibe underneath with then like a little bit of an oversized layer. Shirt, I love it so much. The shirt is from Zara. This was in size small, so it's obviously got an oversized vibe to it. I think I got the bodysuit in a size 10. I don't think they had a size 12 or I would have gone for a size 12 just because I hate feeling restricted in the sort of bodysuit areas. But this size 10 actually fits and feels really comfortable. And then the joggers I got in a size small. And if anything, I could have gone down in the joggers. I don't even know if they do an extra small. But I would usually have to be a size 12 slash a size medium in joggers. But these felt really stretchy and the quality of them is gorgeous. But obviously they are champions and they are a little bit expensive. But I definitely feel like the price is reflected in the quality. What am I doing with this shirt? Before we move on to outfit number two, I feel like I love the vibe of a sort of tied up shirt. Because then you also kind of have a little bit of an oversized vibe but then also get like the fitting vibe as well, if you get me. I hope I'm making sense. I'm really not the best at fashion, putting outfits together, but I just kind of put together what I like and what I feel comfortable in. Okay, so the next outfit we have is the same bodysuit, but these trousers slash kind of like jeggingy, not really at all. They're basically trousers, but they've got a little bit of stretch in them, so. I was gonna be on these straight away. Um, I did have to get the size large. Uh, because I did try on the medium. I actually tried these on because I was like, there's a very good chance that none of these trousers are gonna fit me because my legs are larger, which I freaking love, which is the point of this video because I wanna accentuate that because I love my legs. Um, so I feel like I love the way that these fit and how comfortable they are, but the only thing is I did have to go up to a large to sort of feel comfortable on my thighs. And then on the waist it actually pinned in by here which was too loose so I just created a little hole myself and then I just popped the little pin okay that did not work that time pop it in the little hole that I made and then it kind of fits nicely on the waist but also feels really comfortable on the legs um, and I just love how these trousers fit I love how they accentuate my thighs I love how they fit on the bum I just love the look of them I feel like the pattern on them as well just kind of makes Makes my legs stand out a bit more, which I love. And then I love the bodysuit with them. Again, like usually I would just be like, probably pair this with an oversized knitted jumper when I feel like I also just love the vibe of this tighter bodysuit and then a little bit of an oversized vibe on the top. So you've still got the fitted on the bottom, oversized on the top, little pair of trainers, white trainers, boots, anything. Okay, so the next thing I have is this bodysuit. Oh, this is not a bodysuit. The next thing I have is this um, top from Zara. Now, I have this in black, and I love it so much. Um, I feel so comfortable in them, but at the same time, they're really tight. They're like basically like a lycra swimsuit material, but they're so supportive on my boobs. I just f feel really comfortable in them. And so when I went into Zara, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get these in two new colors, white and the nude, to be a bit more, you know, Colourful in, wow, I'm literally just looking at everything I bought and there's literally not one colourful item in here. So I feel like this freaking shirt thing just goes with everything. This shirt literally goes with every single outfit that I've tried on so far. Oh my gosh, I feel so classy in this colour. I never wear like nude, nude beige colours, like this nude. I don't know why, I feel like they just wash me out, but I feel very... Comfortable, classy, sexy, everything. The next thing I'm gonna try on 
whilst we're here. This is also from Zara, blooming heck, I love Zara. Um, so I got this little sort of cropped jumper. Now, I just felt like going back a little bit more to like my cropped vibes, you know? I used to wear like everything cropped, and don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna be ever probably doing that again, because I feel like I used to wear everything cropped because I used to be a lot more into fitness and I sort of started my channel, uh, my Instagram being sort of like a fitness influencer and I felt like a lot of my worth and a lot of my content had to include revealing my body and sort of wearing cropped stuff, which I'm just completely the opposite of that now. Like I, I know and I share with you guys all the time that your worth and your value and everything, it literally has nothing to do with your body shape. It's all to do with you inside and who you are as a person and so that's when I became really comfortable with just wearing whatever the freaking heck I wanted. Um, but as I did change, start sort of changing shape, I was very much like against cropped stuff and I didn't want that to be the case. I want to still be able to wear cropped when I want to and not cropped when I don't want to, if you get me. So, okay, that headspace is literally tiny. Oh no, it's not, I just had the label. Okay, that is cute, let me just, okay, yeah. And I've wanted something this length, which I love, to show off the legs, show off the booty. But then also at the same time, it's still a little bit long, so that if you want the super like tucked in vibe, then you can just tuck it in. <gasps> that is so freaking cute. That is literally so comfortable, so cute. This colour is dreamy. I mean, it's just freaking white, but you know, I'm a bit of a sucker for white. Really, really, really like it. It feels weird, like I'm so used to wearing like really thick knitted jumpers at the moment. I'm putting this on and it's like a really thin knit and really soft and I'm like, okay, okay. This is my new vibe, like I'm really feeling this. And then again, you could layer it up even on top. You could have this knitted. Is this gonna work? Like what's the vibes going on here? Oh, see, I'm feeling that, oh my gosh, because this kind of like beigey color ties in with the trousers of this, and then you've also got the white, which is kind of in the trousers, is it? Kind of not, but they kind of all go together really nicely. Okay, so next we have two random pieces, which I kind of fit together, but I'm not really sure how it's going together. But, um, so these are, um, what are they called? Sports leggings from H&M. Oh. My. Yeah. I love these leggings so much. Um, so I don't know how well, I feel like black things don't really show up very well on the camera, but they're basically, they look almost like a sort of wet look legging, um, which I absolutely love, but can never find that fit my legs nicely. I'm not even joking, you need to go into H&M and try these freaking leggings on. They are so stretchy. I originally took in a medium to the changing room and I was literally like, oh my goodness. So the medium like fit nicely, but I could tell that there was like a lot of sort of room for stretch. So I downsized to the small and like there's still freaking so much freaking stretch in them and my legs do not usually fit in a size small. Not sure if it's like you couldn't really pass them off with wet look leggings because of I don't know, maybe it's like the seams on them. I don't know if it's just because I know that they're sports leggings, but I feel like they do still, yeah, I think it's like all the seams like here and everything that like they look like sports leggings. Just going for the like fitted, comfortable vibe that I was sort of trying to give off in this video. Um, and I feel so comfortable in this outfit. And again, this is not really the type of outfit that I would put together recently. The top is, well, it's actually a jumper. The jumper is from Topshop, um, and it's got like little red bits in it, and it's really cool, because it's black, but then at the same time, like, kind of festive and red at the same time. So comfortable, it is never gonna restrict you, and that is my favorite type of material. That's like, fitting, but really freaking soft, comfortable, and stretchy. So it's like that. Oh, actually, that could be, because I feel like if you cover, the sort of high-waisted bit of the leggings. It's not so obvious that they're sports leggings, but I still I still wouldn't pair this outfit together personally. I was just kind of gonna try and show off the sort of styles of them both, but like this jumper that we tried on earlier could look really cute with the leggings. It's kind of like sporty, but might not actually be off to the gym, might just be off to Starbucks to get a coffee. Love, okay. So yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with these leggings and I also got them in khaki. Oh, I feel like that would look also really cute with this jumper, so I'm gonna try them on now. Love the color of these leggings. And with this jumper, they look so cute. <gasps> See, I'm getting back into leggings now. I feel like I also betrayed my love for leggings for a while. Oh my gosh. <gasps> look at these, they freaking fit me. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now, literally. I think I tried on a pair of jeans like this with like a 
uh, was it a red or something in the summer? And they were just like, no. I like went up to a 14. I even think I went up to a 16 or something and they were just like, mm -mm, no stretch in them whatsoever. So I was feeling pessimistic about these, but they fit so nicely. Like they're so stretchy and so comfortable. <gasps> oh my God. It's like one of those like mind games. Like it kind of goes blurry and like hallucinates me, but hallucinates me, hypnotizes me. What's the word? I don't know, but they're freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're going mad. We've been filming for so long. She was filming on the floor. This is, look, come and say hi. This is my friend. Hi. No, look, I can never say your name right. Nyla. Nyla. I Nyla. did it right. <laughs> she did it right. This is my friend Nyla. I mean, we're doing a, another video, so you'll probably meet her and you would have seen her on my Instagram, but she is the best freaking girl you'll ever meet. <laughs> I love you. We're so good in trashing places as well. <laughs> we what? We're so good in trashing places. Yeah, oh my gosh, we've literally... Like, we're a nightmare to go on. Literally a nightmare. The, I just... This Airbnb has literally been like whipped around. Our clothes are <laughs> everywhere, aren't they? Everywhere. <laughs> we've ruined this place and we've got to put it all back together tomorrow, so wish no, us luck. <laughs> okay, so... Even though Nyla said this looks like my grandma knitted it for me, that's my kind of vibe, guys, okay? I'm going back to my mum style. I did have to get one knitted jumper, and can I just say, this does not go with these jeans. It's actually kind of just really upsetting me, so I'm gonna put on. Um, oh, what should I put on with it? Okay, so these aren't the best either. I just, actually, they do go together quite nicely, but the reason that I got the jumper, I'm just gonna give you a full view knocking everything over. The reason that I got this jumper was because it is the kind of perfect length to be sort of cropped and sit nicely on like a high-waisted thing without, but also like kind of fitted. I don't know, I just really like the style of it and I hadn't sort of gone for many tighter fitting knit jumpers this year. I had to get one little, one little knit that sort of fitted my more form-fitting and just something that I felt really comfortable and good in. Um, but I feel like this would look really cute with a pair of like high-waisted Joni jeans or something. Or like a pair of black leggings, even just a pair of plain black leggings because this would just hold itself on your sort of waist area and then it would sort of have that flattering vibe to it. Anyway, that is everything. I think that was everything. I hope this video kind of made sense as to what I was trying to go for um, with the styles of clothes. I just kind of wanted to... Ooh. Is that James? <laughs> Is that James? <gasps> anyway, I hope. Oh yeah, he's got coffee. I hope that made sense with what I was trying to go for. I wanted, if anything, for you to take away from this video that you are freaking amazing, you are always gonna be enough. No matter what your body shape is, no matter what your, the size of your body, like who freaking cares? Me and Nyla were talking about this last night and she was honestly just reminding me and inspiring me so much because she has the most insane confidence. Like she is so freaking confident and when she goes into a room, like the whole room just lights up and I just, like I was just asking her like, how do you stay so confident? And she was like, I'm not confident in my exterior, I'm confident in me inside and that glows through my skin and it, it, you know, everything I am within, I am confident in me and who I am and that's what gives us worth and that's what gives us value and that's what gives us confidence and even though I knew that, like just hearing her say it, I was like, oh my goodness, that is so freaking true and we get so wrapped up and it doesn't mean that we can't dress up and look good, it doesn't mean that we can't do our makeup and, you know, look glam and all of that, it doesn't mean that but it means that when we walk into a room, when we walk about, when we live our lives, our confidence and our aura should come from knowing that we are enough and that we are worthy and that it's everything within us, not how we look on the outside, that makes us a worthy, insane human. And yeah, I kind of hope that made sense. I will stop rambling now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Please give the video a like if you did enjoy it and leave me a comment below. I love reading your comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my couples channel if you like sort of vlog content. I will be there all throughout the week. I upload on there loads of times per week. If not, I will see you guys next week. I love you so much. Thank you for always supporting me. I love you, my best friends. Love you, love you, love you. Bye. <laughs>